Okay, family. So I got finally got that video up. You know, it may have been some technical difficulty once again, but even if it was some technical difficulty, I still say it was an adversary that was working. Okay, and there's always a way around our adversaries. Okay, so anyway, I was happy to get that video up because I'm telling you the truth, guys. I've been trying to upload a video since last month no joke i had some things that i really wanted to share with you and spirits wanted to share and i lost them along the way but then that's fine because you know whoever was supposed to get it uh supposed to have gotten it they got it but anyway because whatever it's for you you're gonna get it i don't care nobody said whether it's good or whether it's bad excuse me y'all got a little habit of picking with keys and stuff um, but anyway, the reason why I come back because I want to be able to go back and, 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 and get some of the things that, um, I talked to you all about on the prior videos that did not upload. I wanted to get them to you now. Okay. Um, because it's going to be important that you get it. Very important. I'm not trying to set out any panic or any fear. I'm just saying we need to prepare. Let's get prepared. Even when I talked about this last past April of 2011 and uh, that there was something that did come in this direction, my direction, and I had already warned before it came, you know, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a thing, you know, you know, it's just like when the birds alert the um, animals at the, the gazelles or the um, herd that they see something, you know how the birds go, <laughs> or some go, oh, 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 whatever, and everything takes off running. I mean, it's no different here. The spirits are 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 alerting. The birds are alerting that there is something out there. It may not be where you are, but for some folks, it might be where they are, or you know, whatever. And I'm not saying fear. We have no reason to fear. Warnings do not mean fear. Warnings mean prepare. Okay. So this is only to get us prepared. Remember I talked about canned goods, food, water, blanket sheets. You all may know about it yourself, about the preppers. Let's get prepped. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's prep for this, this thing. You know what I'm saying? It may not even be anything to, to life threatening, but it's just saying, you know, that you should have all of your ducks in a row right now. Um, so I wanted to put that out there. Have all your ducks in a row because a lot of people tend to, when you get to talking about the omens, the, the bad omens and all of that, everybody gets to running and everything, you know. And then soon as something happens, they get bad with you and say, why you didn't tell me? See? So that's why you can't say I didn't tell you because I am already saying, you know, get them canned goods, y'all. Put that water out. Do as much as you possibly can. You should not, witches, you should not be living in your house without no candles. Okay? Wizards, you should not be in your house without water. Plenty of water stored, okay? Uh, warlocks, you better know your magic. Y'all better know y'all stuff, okay? Because I don't care what nobody say. Creative consciousness is far more powerful than technology, okay? And you better know that, okay? Right now, a comet or asteroid can be coming our way, and we can use all of our, all of us can put our energy together and meditate and make that thing go back in another direction. It's just the fact people don't want to do it no more. Everybody wants the easy way out. Technology is this easy way out. Entertainment and all of that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that right there ain't going to feed you when it ain't no canned goods around and no grocery stores open. It's not going to feed you, okay? So, you know, you know, it's time out for playing, okay? It's time, we can have some fun and stuff, but we need to be preparing, too, while we're having a little fun, you know. Uh, love folks while they're living, y'all. Love them and hug them right now while they're living, okay? Kiss people while they're living, okay? Um, ever since I talked about the, uh, the Omen series and stuff that we're going to have and everything, everybody has kind of, like, ran behind the tree. Bring y'all asses up behind that tree so y'all get this knowledge. It's time for us to get prepared, <laughs> okay? Now, I know y'all witches going to get mad and everything, but y'all, you know, we, we don't have no business fearing. Don't get me wrong. 
Sometimes I be fearing too. Some of the things that I see will frighten you too. But, you know, I, I keep preparing y'all now. Jeff, it's not like what they say it's going to be, okay? They're talking about all these Disney uh, uh, cartoons and stuff saying that, you know, angels are angelic and everything. I already told you that's not the way it is, you know? When you, you know, transition and you are from this side, which is no such thing as death and dying, when you leave this side, you're still going to realize your conscience is still woke. You understand that part of you that don't go to sleep, you know, that's aware of all time, uh, that is aware at all times, is st still going to be aware when you come out of your cocoon, okay? So, you know, to me, when this physical body dies, it's just you coming, you're shedding that cocoon to go over to the spiritual side of things, okay? So there's nothing, we shouldn't be fearing it, okay? We shouldn't be fearing, we should, should be, be, we should be preparing ourselves to go back to our spiritual groups and, and our spiritual homes, you know? I was gonna do the videos on the spiritual groups, our spiritual groups that are surrounded around us. I know a lot of times when, you know, people leave, you know, we, you know, it's like we're not gonna see them again, but yes, we will, we will, once again, uh, be a part of our groups once again so that we could reincarnate once again and just live life over again, over and over and over and over and over and over again because the spirit never, never dies. I only say that because, you know, I know a lot of people when it gets, when we get to talking about omens, I told you this, you know, this particular time, you know, we kind of like completing our demon series, but you know, I'm going to always be bringing them demons up because them demons got to be fattened up, Okay. And when I tell y'all about the warnings of this happening and get yourself prepared, I mean, you have you fattened up your demons? Do you have an altar for your demons? We talked about that. Everybody keeps saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Do you have an altar in your house or on the outside of your house for your demons? Okay. When I talk about demons, I'm not talking about these legions of spirits that come to destroy the physical body. I'm talking about yourself defenses, those spirits that are involved with self-protection, okay, guys? Are you fattening them fattening them up? Are they malnourished? Are they well-fed? Are they, you know, are they begging for something to eat? Are they too full? Let, hey, talk to me. I mean, you know, they, they like cigars. They like candies. They like food. They like, they, they, they like the things you like, okay? Um, they, they, they like the fact that you acknowledge them to Say here, this is for you, okay? Light that cigar for that goigle that you have on your table, that demon, whatever you have chosen, the vessel for them. You understand on the table? Let's let's get it together, okay? I know all of us, you know, women, we want to be loved, and I get a lot of, you know, uh, messages and comments about, you know, you want this man to love you, you want him to do. Look, let me tell you something right now. Right now is not not I, I don't want you all to be so um consumed with this thing right now because there's a lot of other things that are at hand right now some crucifix going on right now y'all it's some crucifix and mass sacrificing going on right now okay love is a beautiful thing but first you got to love yourself now anyway i said that but i will you know try to go over that bottle spell that is very hot on this channel right now for some reason i would hope that everybody would want to get all of it you know but anyway i'm gonna go over that again okay because you know i want to share some money tips with you too okay how you can draw some money <laughs> a lot of you all might not be ready for how you can draw some money okay you might not want to do some of the things that it takes to bring that cash flow in okay because mama done seen a lot of it and don't 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 think that she ain't forgotten I got somebody looking at me right now uh -huh, that's trying to get my secrets, but I'm not going to talk to y'all about it right now because they, they want it too. So that's why they're looking so that they can get it and use for their prayer and then go off and tell everybody else about it. So right now ain't the time, but I'm going to tell y'all how to make your money flow. Mama got a good secret, a secret that the Illuminati uses and all of the higher powers that be, they use it, okay? Uh, I'll give you a tip if you really want to do it. You gotta feed some demons. But anyway, I have to give them some of your blood. Same thing for these love, these uh, love spells that you're talking about too. But that stuff's so deep right now. You know, I don't even know if we can even get into it right now, y'all, because like mama is still talking about the skies. Y'all look up in the sky tonight. All of us are in different zones, so some of you may not be seeing what we see down here in the south. You have to realize it comes it comes from down and then go up, okay? 
Um, but if you down in the south and you look in the sky to see what I'm seeing, y'all look up there now. Look up there. Had y'all been paying some attention to that thing coming closer and closer? There's a lot of um, uh, people that have their own ideas as to what that can be. Some people say that it's a space, it's a space station. You know that big bright light that's getting bigger and bigger. Some people think it's a it's a planet. I heard one man said it was Jupiter. He said Jupiter and Venus is there. But if it is Jupiter and Venus, it's getting very very close. Some people say, you know, it's just a lot of people that just have lots of different ideas but if you look at it you'll see that they are getting closer okay so a lot of people want to say that most of this uh the, the this this these changes are just changes that man is making like it's extremely hot right now in the south you know and then extremely cold probably in some parts of the north as you go further north you know, it's just a weird weather anomaly is going on. A lot of people want to say it's man that's doing it. You know, I would like to say that it's man. Some of it is by is man, but some of it is cosmic activity. Because when you look up into the skies, it's letting you know certain messages that are beyond man, okay? They're cosmic messages, okay? Um. Anyway, I, I wanted to come back and talk about that. And, and I wanted to talk about the eye. You know, I, I I put a little message up on Facebook about the eye and and um no one really responded and I, I and I can understand because I'm finding that there are a lot of people that are learning that don't know and they don't know what to say and they don't know how to comment on it. And there are a lot of people who know and they're not gonna comment on it. And there's just some people that are just observing and they may just be somewhere in the middle, okay. But um, mama have been seeing the all seeing eye all day long, closing the eyes, opening the eyes, seeing the all seeing eye. That's why I wanted to talk about spirit groups because we can't forget in spirit in our spirit groups. Some of these spirits, everybody's spirits is not from the same place. Okay, so everybody's not going to perceive everything the same way. Okay, the way I perceive things. A lot of people are not going to perceive it that way because they didn't come from the same spiritual, um, cosmic center that I came from. But there are a lot of people that came from the same spirit family, spirit group, uh, spirit cosmic center, whatever you want to call it, spiritual home that I came from, you know. And that's why when we meet each other, we're, we, we feel like we know each other and it's just like, you know the spirit, you know, because we are from the same place. So a lot of these messages are not going to be understood by everyone, okay? A lot of these codes that I will begin to speak in will not be understood. And I'm not going to be able to explain it. It's, it's really for those who are from the same home, spiritual home that I'm from, okay? It has nothing to do with what shade you are, whether you're dark brown or medium okra type color and i know a lot of y'all might be saying what's me okra you know you know I, i'm an artist i'm a painter so i may be talking shades and colors of, of 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 paint oil paints and stuff like that but you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with race creed nationality religion or what have you spirits do, don't don't possess those things so you know we could still be from the same spiritual home regardless to whether uh, you are a dog or a tree or a flower, okay? Because even some animals are from the same place, okay? So I know it sounds crazy and stuff, but I'm going to be speaking codes that are all seeing eye that you're seeing. Now, everybody ain't seeing that. Uh, God, those are definitely messages. Those are definitely those who have sent us here, keeping an eye on us, watching us, and helping us to remember those things that were important before we got here. You got to go back and, and regroup yourselves and don't forget what your purpose and your mission is here. Okay, now I'm going to stop it right here and I'm going to come back because I got a lot to catch up on. You know, it's going to be a lot of videos flying at you, okay? Okay, family, be back in a sec, okay? Don't want to say bye-bye. <laughs>